Hey everyone, welcome back to Unicorn Dust Designs. My name is Sammy and today I am joining the JRV Summer Decor Collaboration. There is going to be a playlist down in my description box, so check it out because there are tons of awesome creators joining in today's collaboration. With that said, let's go ahead and get into these summer wood DIYs. We are going to start out with this little number. It almost looks like it could be like a hen house, maybe a bookshelf. I don't know, but I got it at Salvation Army for $14.99. And my dad gave me some of these decorative pieces. He took off an old dresser and I wanted to match that color. So gypsy green ended up being the right match for that. So I cleaned it up and now I'm going to take my smoothie brush by DIY and y'all if you paint large surfaces this brush is absolutely amazing. It covers a lot of, of uh, real estate and then it also gets on you know like the fine small parts as well. So I'm going to paint this entire thing except inside the cubby holes. But when I was finished, of course there was bleed through. So it almost looked like that was water damage, there was grease, and then the top was just horrible. But I knew what I needed to do and that was take out Salvation Solution in clear. This is a wood stain blocker. It's a stain blocker for anything actually. And I'm gonna brush it on all of the parts that have the bleed through. I ended up putting it on everything just in case something came through later. After that completely dried, I'm gonna take my multitasker brush and I'm gonna do a second coat of that gypsy green. All of the brushes and the paints are available on my website, unicorndustdesigns.com. This multitasker brush literally leaves minimal brush strokes and holds so much paint. After that, I took a spray bottle and this is where like I watch one YouTube video and think I'm a professional and like can do all this blending stuff. But you know what? It doesn't hurt to try because it's just paint. So <laughs> I took Sandy Blonde. I wanted to lighten up the green. After it was done, I was like, I'm, I'm not digging it. I need to add something. So I added the Sandy Blonde. I ended up wetting the entire surface, blending it in, and then wiping it back. And this completely lightened the entire thing. And I do this everywhere that I put that green gypsy color. Now I'm taking a spray bottle and it's mixed with 50-50 liquid sunshine and water. And I spritz that on and then I move it around with my heat gun. I wanted this to look like almost like a potting bench, you know, like it was somebody's in somebody's garden. They put their gardening tools in their pots and it's set out and, you know, it is starting to weather. It has drips on it from the rain. That was the look I was going for here. And um, you'll see that I add flowers later. So I start from the top of the wood pieces. So it looks like it's dripping down and then I just catch the drip so it doesn't fall inside the cubbies. And I'm gonna do this same process with the side. Now this might not be everybody's style and that's okay, but I'm all about trying new things and I've been really into watching painting furniture on YouTube. So you know what, I'm gonna have fun with it. So after that dries, I'm going to get these ladies in waiting. It, there's like four of these big transfers in the IOD pack. And I am going to go ahead and push down on that transfer as I'm lifting the sheet up. I'm then going to burnish it. And then I do a different color flower on the opposite side of this shelf. I'm going to take those little decorative pieces and I'm going to take the quick and thick type on and I'm going to place those on the three um, pieces of wood that are in the front here. After that dries, we are gonna take DIY clear wax, and then I'm gonna go in with dark wax. So I did the clear wax first, that way my dark wax will be more movable for me and I can wipe it back if I'm not digging how dark it's getting. But you guys, I was digging it, okay? This gave it like this grungy, decrepit look, like it has had dirt on it, it's weathered, the paint's coming off, I loved it. And after this, you guys, you guys have to, honest opinions, it's okay, it's all right. And how gorgeous 
did she come out? I'm going to name her Lola. Don't know why, but look at the spindles. Just a great added old touch. It was a great way of repurposing these and giving this piece more detail. And then we have the drips of the liquid sunshine on there. Oh, look at how good they look so decrepit on the sides. It makes me so happy. And now I want to show you guys the other side with the other color flower. And I need to know what you guys think about this down in the comments. I really love the way that it turned out. I just had to trust the process. It might not be this everybody's cup of tea, like I said it. before, but I am definitely digging it and I'll be happy to have it in my booth for sure. This is gonna be the easiest wood DIY ever. We're taking an 18 inch wood round. I'm taking Golden Oak by Rust-Oleum. We're gonna stain the front, the back, and the sides. I was inspired by someone I saw on Facebook. However, I cannot find the post or the picture, um, but I am going to pop this out in the sunshine and it will take about 10 minutes to dry up. Then we are taking a transfer from the Willow IOD transfer packet, and this fit the curve of this wood round so well. However, I didn't like how this piece I'm cutting off was sticking up and outwards. So I cut it off for now. I'm gonna lay that transfer down on my piece and I'm gonna start pushing down on my transfer. This transfer did very well over the stain. I usually do not clear my items before putting a transfer on. However, it doesn't always work out, but neither does it when you put a clear coat either. So you do you, all right? But it worked, we're good. So after doing that, I'm gonna burnish it as well to make sure that it's stuck there. Now I'm gonna take that other transfer and I'm going to find the placement I wanna put on it. So I'm gonna cut it down just a little bit more. And I didn't even have to, I mean, it looked good that way, but I decided to put it on there and then of course burnish it and we are done with that transfer. Next step is taking Big Top, which is our clear coat. This is like a poly acrylic. It's water-based, it's food safe. I'm gonna put two coats on the front and one coat on the rest of it. I envision this being like a tray that somebody is going to put candles on and a book or a little like trinket dish. That was my vision going into this, not necessarily for a wall hanger, but it could be a wall hanger. You could add words or whatever you wanted to the left side, but I was definitely seeing a tray. So that was such an easy wood summer DIY. And what's nice is that that print that's on the right side, you can still show that while like it's on your table and then put all the decorative pieces on the plain wood. So comment with a flower if you liked this wood round. Just checking in on you guys to see how you are enjoying today's video. If you are enjoying it, please, please, please leave a comment down below. It's a free, absolutely free way you can help my channel grow here on YouTube. And you guys know the drill. If you're digging me, if you're digging the DIYs, if you are digging the channel, please make sure to like and subscribe. And if you're new to my channel, hello and welcome. My name is Sammy. I am a crafter, a wife, a mother of three, and I am someone who believes that crafting and family go hand in hand. I am always down to have a good laugh and I love playing around with colors and I love trying new things. So I hope you stick around and you guys make sure to check out that playlist down in the description box and let's get back into the video. Our last bundle of DIYs, we are gonna go into that Willow transfer again. I can't believe I have this many of them left I, because they're gorgeous. I'm gonna use three of the birds that come in this packet and we're gonna take a bunch of random pieces of wood that were in the garage. I'm gonna start off with Prom Queen and skeleton key. And I'm just gonna put half and half on my brush just to see what kind of look we get. It gave us like a little streaky look. I, I'm, I'm not hating it, but when it dried down, it was definitely more lighter than I wanted it. So I grabbed letter press and I ended up spritzing it with some, spritzing the block with water. 
and then putting the letter press on which is a lighter gray and that darkened it up just a tad bit so i did paint the front the back the sides it's a freestanding side so make sure to paint the back and now i'm going to add some stamps I wanted to make the bird look like it was standing on a branch. So I stamped that, then I placed my bird and this came off so easy. After the bird, I'm gonna grab some leaf stamps just to add that little extra detail. And I'm gonna put the stamp on the three little twigs that are sticking out on the right side. And I also curve the stamp so it goes around the wood sign and looks cohesive. I also put one on this top part cause it was way too plain. And then this little bundle of flowers right there. And y'all know I'm extra, so I couldn't stop there. I put a border on the top and the bottom. For whatever reason, this was screaming like it book, like it was meant to be a book, but I didn't make it, I stopped. All right, you guys know I love playing around with color and cherry picked is not a color I use often here. I don't think I've ever used it really. And uh, it is gonna be one of my fall colors. So make sure you snag this up. I'm gonna paint the front, the back and the sides. And of course I have to show you how it looks dried down. When I saw this color dried down, it screamed like sophisticated to me. It doesn't look like royal purple or that gaudy purple. It is gorgeous. So we're going to paint the rest of it. I'm going to get this berry transfer again out of the same booklet. And we are going to put that down on, and then we're going to layer this neutral bird over top it. And let me tell you, this neutral bird against that cherry picked and those berries looks amazing. I couldn't envision it any other way now that it's all put together. Look at that. I thought about putting something on the bottom right, but I was like, no, leave it alone. Like it looks so good. And now of course there's another one, you guys, one more. So can you tell this was a leftover piece of wood? I'm taking old school. This is another oops one, you guys. Taking old school, I put my transfer on. Well, the transfer is not sticking to my paint. And I, it, it's starting to lift the paint a little. So then I decide I'm gonna grab Big Top and I'm gonna clear my piece. So I do that. I get another transfer, put that on. Well, this time the transfer is pulling up the paint. You can't see it there, but it's like, you can see the, the Big Top is peeling off. So I kind of clean it up and I try once again. And this time a little bit of it came off, but it was also like ripping the transfer. So it kind of looked unfinished. So then I have to go back to the drawing board. What can I hide the top part with? So I grab this red floral. Well, guess what? It didn't stick. So at this point I'm like, okay, how can I save this? I'm going to, I'm going to distress it. <laughs> if all else fails, you guys just distress it. So I distress the sides and then the front. I'm gonna wipe that back and then I grabbed another flower and it stuck, okay? And I'm like, okay, this is good, this is good. I grab the bird transfer and I'm like, if I waste this transfer, I am just going to, oh my God, you know. But it went on effortlessly. And so then I grabbed my sanding block cause I wanted it all to go and I, distressed on top of the bird as well. And look at how cute that looks. I did add one more piece of the green leaf over the top right. Sorry, that's, I don't know why I filmed that. Um, and then I'm just gonna grab my clear wax by DIY and I am going to clear all of my pieces, the front, the back, and the sides. You can also use big top or you could use your liquid patina to clear your items as well. I do this with all four of them, starting from lightest to darkest because sometimes the DIY wax carries with the darker ones. And look at how gorgeous these turned out. Scrap wood, I put a bunch of different elements together. I had an oopsie moment, but we fixed it as we always do. And I had fun playing around with the colors, especially, look at that cherry picked. It is so pretty. 
I am happy with all of these. I hope you guys enjoyed this summer wood DIY video. Make sure to check out the playlist down in the description box. And I appreciate all the love and support I've been getting from you guys in comments. It is so encouraging and inspiring. And I thank you all for being here with me. it's hot outside it's like you walk out and your thighs are sticky like you need to put like deodorant or like baking powder so they don't touch each other well they're gonna touch each other uh, life done bye you guys <laughs>